Hey everyone, welcome to Anaheim Park Tourist. Today we're starting a new series of videos on first time travelers to the Disneyland Resort area. In this video, we're going to be briefly covering park reservations, airports in the Disneyland Resort area, and transportation from those airports to the Disneyland Resort. We know there's a ton of information out there, but we just wanted to quickly go over that you do need a valid theme park ticket and a park reservation for every day you plan to go to Disneyland or California Adventure. If you have any questions about that process, please let us know in the comments below and we'll also leave a link to the Disneyland website, which also explains that process. Now on to airports. There are primarily three airports that serve the Disneyland Resort, and those are LAX, John Wayne, which is in Orange County, and Long Beach. Additionally, there are two other airports which we're not gonna focus on, and that's Burbank and Ontario. Both are feasible to land at and get transportation to the Disneyland Resort. If you are an international traveler, most likely you will be flying into LAX. LAX is a massive airport to navigate, but once you get outside of the airport and you sort out your transportation, it will take you between one to two hours, most likely closer to two hours to get to the Disneyland Resort. And that is primarily due to the infamous LA traffic. The other two airports, John Wayne and Long Beach are quite a bit closer. So if you're flying domestic, we would suggest that you try to fly into these airports. It may cost you a bit more money, but they're a lot easier to get in and out of and they're roughly 20 to 30 minutes away from the Disneyland Resort. And since they are such smaller airports, it's just a lot easier to get in and out of those airports. Next up is transportation from the airports to the Disneyland Resort. And we just wanna throw it out there that we typically drive to Disneyland. We don't usually fly. And we just thought it was important to give you guys different options of transportation from the airport. So we did some research and we have a little short list for you below, but we did wanna say, please make sure you check Yelp reviews before you book. And also we are not making money from any of these businesses. We're not um, sponsored in any way. The first two options that we're gonna give you are cars and shuttle services. And the nice thing about this is the price is fixed. So once you book your car, you know what you're paying versus Uber and Lyft. First up is Carmel Shuttle. Carmel Shuttle is the recommended service from the Disneyland Resort. For a family of four using a shared shuttle from LAX, it is $115 plus tip from LAX to the Disneyland Resort. We will leave a link in the description which includes the fare estimator below. The next option is ExecuCar, and we've read a lot of really good things about this on the Disney forums that we frequent, so we just kind of wanted to let you know that as well. ExecuCar offers non-shared services, usually in a fancy SUV or a seven-passenger van, so you're, it's only your party in the car at one time. And we priced it from LAX, and it's $155 one way plus tip. They also have a fare estimator on their website, and we're gonna link that below for you as well. Next up is a rental car service. And we just wanna throw this out there. If you are not from a crowded area or a big city, driving in Southern California may be difficult for you. Highways are wide with heavy traffic and California drivers tend to be very aggressive. If you're not comfortable driving in this type of situation, we would recommend using uh, Uber, Lyft, or car service. The other thing to factor when renting a car is cost of parking at the hotel. And if you're planning on driving to the Disneyland Resort and parking on the resort property, there is also a parking fee there. And at the time of filming, it is $30 a day. So driving a rental car could be quite a bit more money. Next up is Uber and Lyft. This tends to be the easiest option. You can just get off the airplane, go to the loading area and call up an Uber and Lyft. The nice part about the airport is usually all the drivers are kind of queued up so you don't have to wait very long for your car. But because of the pandemic right now, if you have more than three people, you're gonna need to order an Uber XL because you're no longer allowed to sit in the front seat next to the driver. And that can make it more expensive. We priced it from LAX, just a quick check. And an Uber XL was $154 versus a regular Uber, which was only 84. And also with Uber and Lyft, there might be surge pricing going on and that's really unpredictable and you don't know when it's gonna happen and it can make your prices go even further up. So it's just something to think about. Yeah, we went to dinner to a local city here. The trip there was $15. Uh, Uber and Lyft were both surging and our return trip home was $80. 
So it's yeah, quite a bit of difference. It's crazy. Also, another thing to think about on your return trip back to the airport, on your departure, you might wanna make some extra time to get back to the airport. Reason being is, for instance, in Southern California, when we've been down there and we need an Uber, we're waiting up to 20 minutes just for a ride to a local hotel. Here, where we live in Northern California, we waited 30 to 40 minutes for a ride to our airport, and we were freaking out because we were gonna get at the airport later than we wanted to get there and it was very stressful, so we just recommend kind of giving yourself a little bit of a buffer if you plan on using Uber or Lyft to get back to the airport. The final option that Disneyland recommends is public transportation, and we actually want to discourage people from doing this. Uh, public transportation requires a lot of different transfers. It's not a direct route. It is a long journey, and it's just not very practical to take public transportation. The other options we listed are a much better choice. If you're new here, go ahead and click on one of our hotel tours. Once part two of this is posted, we'll link it here. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it.